Hi, welcome back to Kolsky RC. So today I've got a quick video, I just wanted to show you these. So these are the replacement strap and face plate for the DJI goggles. So this is the face plate that come with the goggles. And um, one of the only, well, the only issue I didn't like about these goggles was they're not the most comfortable thing in the world due to this. And the light leakage is quite bad. Now for me it came up through the nose area and coming in through the sides. Uh, even though I do like this foam, I think it's a nice piece of, well I don't know what it is actually, pretend leather type stuff. And the other problem I had with it, I hated having to have the strap, the battery lead coming up from my pocket and plugging the goggles. I found that very bizarre that they hadn't put a holder in here for a battery. So you can pick this kit up, so this and this strap are about nine quid. And I think it's great value. So the strap's really nice material, but it hasn't got a lot of stretch. So if you look at, well, I don't know where the other one, I've took the other one off, but the other one's far more stretchy, it's not got much stretch. And this is about as far as you can go with this battery. So at the minute I'm running this with one of these. So this is a smart pack from Furious FPV. And it does mean I have a power switch on here now. Now it does run on 7.4 volts, what I will tell you is you've got to make sure these batteries are charged and obviously you're not going to get anywhere near the flight time you get out of putting a 4S on here. You're going to need to charge these batteries up. Apart from that everything's fine. If you run at 25 milliwatt, because obviously I do because I'm in the UK and I would never ever go above that, you're going to get a varying degree of success with this battery. But I like it having it there and this is a much better design for me. It, this is what I have then, I don't have the f battery that's coming off. So I'm just going to show you this, this is the actual face plate. Now some people aren't going to like this because it does restrict your nose here, so it depends how big your nose is I guess, or the shape of your nose. For me this is absolutely perfect crushed in like this, but for some people that's going to really affect the breathing on the nose. So it's one of these things you need to try it to be thing to um, to know but having said that I think it's worth it just for the strap this just simply pushes on there where you put it on like this it's got that belt I don't know what this type of thing is really nice equipment to use this sticky stuff and as you can see the only difference is on this one as you can see the old one that's come off it has a piece here and a piece there this is it all the way around so in the kit you get two pieces of the opposite of this that go on to the goggles I'll show you that and you stick them on yourself so you can see them pieces there. You have to put them pieces on yourself. And if you are fitting one of these, make sure you start with the nose area first, force the nose area in, and then put it round. But I think it's a massive difference. And for the cost, I think it's a bit of a no-brainer. If this was like 20 quid, then I'd be saying probably not. But at the price for the strap, you can buy the strap on its own, I think, for six, five or six pounds, and this is eight or nine, I think this is nine pounds. It's eight pound 90 or something like that. So it's another three quid to get the face plate. If you buy the face plate separate it comes out more than that. And like I say, I, I'm happy running it on this battery because it was the only thing with the goggles that I didn't really like was this wasn't the light leakage I had. Now having said that, to be totally honest, after I've been flying for two minutes I never noticed the light leakage anyway. But the comfort factor is much better and as you can see it's quite a lot wider on the cheek area so it pushes against the cheek more which obviously stops the light coming in there. I find this much more comfortable because it's a much softer material. And I also find this smoother part of the back of here not as restrictive on my head. And also, for the length of time flying, sometimes this get a bit, you could feel your head was starting to sweat a little bit, especially like me and going bald. You could feel a bit, your head was sweating a bit with this, you don't. This is a better material. I think this is made by U, uh, UAV, might be wrong, but I think that's who it is. Uh, you can pick it up from various various people sell this and it comes in about the same price. I've even seen it on eBay for around a ten of in the UK. So yeah, I think this is a bit of a winner. So the other video I've got coming up shortly, I have already got it but I have not made the video yet. So I have the part that goes onto here which will have a analogue output input. So I'll show you how to convert these to analogue without having to do the mess of, but it's not a mess. You can take this off, buy another one of these and have to wire up. We have to strip the goggles down quite a way to do that. With this one there's no stripping of the goggles, the only thing you do is take them two screws out here and mount it on. But I've got that coming up in a future video and I'll be sh I think you'll be shocked how little you can do it for. How cheap you can make these analogue as well and have analogue input and it works fantastically well. So that video is coming up shortly but as I say I'm not doing that one today, just this today. 
Hope you enjoyed it. If you like one of these, I will leave a link down in the description uh, if I find where uh, if, I can't remember where I bought these ones from. Might have been buying good, but I'll leave a link in the description anyway. So if you do fancy one of these, getting it. But yes, I do recommend it. But like I say, don't blame me if your nose doesn't feel right or you just buy the strap on its own. It's a strap that I'm really recommending. I think the strap's fantastic. So thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. <laughs>